20 youth have undergone training on ways to facilitate gender responsive budgeting and strategies for conducting advocacies against all forms of gender based violence in Sakoto State. The training was conducted by the UN Women in collaboration with a non governmental organization Connected Development under the EU UN Spotlight Initiative Project on the elimination of gender based violence in communities. We have details in this report. Issues of gender-based violence have suddenly taken an alarming turn in Nigeria. We report that over 30% of women and girls aged 15 to 49 have experienced sexual abuse at point in their lives. Advocacy and campaign against gender-based violence have not made a significant impact due to lack of coordination among key stakeholders. Poor implementation of the legal framework and entrenched gender discriminatory norms have also frustrated the effort of government and civil society to address gender-based violence. Now, key players are considering a change in approach in order to achieve better results in the fight against gender-based violence. To this end, 20 youth were selected in South Quarter State for training aimed at teaching them how to facilitate gender response budgeting and strategies for conducting advocacies against gender-based violence. Five states, Adamawa, Cross River, Ebony, Lagos, and South Quarter, including the Federal Capital Territory, were selected for the study based on their geographical locations and available data on gender-based violence in the state. And, um, from each of the six geopolitical zones, we realized that these states are the ones that have the highest cases of SGBV in the countries. That's why they were spotlighted and uh, we are trying to influence policy in these states and amplify the voices of women in the states. The state coordinator of the program in Sokoto, Idris Mohammed, says the exercise is aimed at preparing youth, mostly girls, on ways to fast track public understanding on sexual and gender based violence in the society. It is also to sensitize the community members as well as establish monitoring and evaluation mechanisms in their settlement. It's to educate them on the policies and legal frameworks governing the issue of sexual gender based violence and also gender based violence. So for them only to understand the legal background as well as the policy background will equip them with the knowledge of asking the government to act. The new approach to fighting gender based violence is expected to strengthen the capacity of girls and vulnerable toward eliminating violence against women, girls and other harmful practices.